be making bases. What's good, YouTube? Beat Making Bases back again with another video. If you're new, go ahead and subscribe and, you know, like the video. Leave a comment as well if you like the content. But without further ado, we're going to go ahead and get into today's video. It's going to be another viewer slash subscriber topic, and we're going to see what we are going to do here. Um, I have Rosa here that says, can you help with how to EQ a loop drum or a drum loop? And sure. Now, First things first, I will be honest with you, Rosie. Like, you know, it's all about picking the right loops, okay? Like, if you're picking loops that are sounding like horrible or whatever, then you're going to have to do a lot of work to EQ them. But most, for the most part, like nowadays, you don't even really need to EQ, like, especially a drum loop, okay? Now, it depends on what type of uh, loop you got going here. So, like, say if you have, like, just some percussion, like, some type of percussion loop. Let's go over here and see what we can find, like a percussion loop. All right, so let's say we want to add this to our beat here. All right, what you could do here, like I'll play this first, this first uh, drum loop right here. So let's listen to it. Alright, so it sounds pretty hard, but say if you like like this percussion part right here, um, but you don't like the percussion in this one, and let's say that you like the actual like kicks and stuff in this one, and uh, let's this is what you would do. So first off, you gotta understand what's going on with the frequency range. Alright, so first off, just click right here, this is gonna pop up, and um and if you don't know where to have this app is set up right here, you just push the inspector window right here at the top. And this inspector option comes down. Anyway, uh, this is a frequency chart right here. And you have all the way, basically represents human hearing. We hear low sounds and high sounds. So you have like, you know, 20 hertz right here all the way to 20,000 hertz. The higher you go up, there's going to be higher sounds. The lower you go down, there's going to be lower sounds. Okay. And so what you could do is... I would recommend taking out the highs on this if you want to keep the like the kick on this one and then like just use like the uh the high like the, the clap and the hi-hats um to blend in with this beat. So what I could do is I could take this and basically take a lot of this out of here. So let's listen to it. So you can do something cool like that and then you can come over here with this uh, other beat here and we can go ahead and add another frequency like go ahead and EQ this one and so on this one I would do the opposite I would take the lows out of this one okay and now when we put them together we kind of created a new beat And that, my friend, is basically how you can EQ, you know, you know, drum loops. All right. Say if you wanted to match them together and different things like that. So hope that helps. And until the next one, man, we're out. Peace.